it's a beautiful flower and also you can use this as a decorative stem let's say here's a flower right here and put this right on top of that by putting this triangle that is sticking up to this into this slit it will stay really well two and I call this decorative stem. I have 10 inches square. One side is white and other side is a color. Starting out with white side up, we are going to make this into preliminary fold, which is one of the basic folding pattern. Fold it in half to color rectangle first and fold it in half to a quarter square. Unfold back to a rectangle and opening side is on top at this moment. I'm going to move this to my bottom toward my stomach. Right here, opening side is on the bottom right top corner will be folded to the center bottom so the shape you are folding is triangle so i have one flap on here and turn it over to the back side by lifting up turn it to the side way and it looks like a truck moving to that direction and from the right top, fold to the vertical center. And the shape you see is a triangle, like a pyramid. One flap on this side and another flap on the back side. On this bottom of the pyramid, there's a big opening, like a pouch and open this pouch as much as you can do it's almost like a mouse opening up and down up and down and go all the way as far as you can go without unfolding and from the side make it flat When you see it from the side, it looks like this, and make it flat. You are not making any new crease. You are using all the pre-existing creases. And opening is here. Turn the paper to first. The center crease is vertical and opening side is on top and i can see two flaps inside that's where i am as an orientation and from here you will make a kite shape on this side so i will be folding from the bottom bottom narrow and same on the opposite side so here's a shape of the kite on this side you will do the same thing exactly on the other side so make sure you turn it over to the back side and do it sideways not upside down turning but the side way so that the top is opening again. Diagonal, fold to the center, vertical crease from both sides.
unfold and do the same on the back side so unfold very good and from here let's do it this way on my left side there is a triangle flap that can move right or left and I will move it to my right side and put that back make sure you are just only grabbing one flap my second flap was almost going together don't let that let's do one at a time so one flap go back and forth left and right and put that back and let's work on that flap you made back and forth put your finger on this pocket on the top diagonal line and you will squash to this the kite shape and to do when you do it it was like mine it wrinkled right here so i will just grab a pen like that and push that all the way to the bottom so that way it will open squash open and squash to the kite shape turn this right half to the left find the triangle here it's a triangle flap we'll be doing this three more times back and forth that's what first thing you do back and forth maybe twice and after you did it twice it will stick out very comfortable to towards you and open the top diagonal part and open squash right and this time I could do it without the pen but if you had a wrinkle around here just push that with this right here and next you guessed it right have this half of the right side turn to the left by using the center vertical crease and here's another triangle flap all the way to the bottom I'm pushing it as far as I can push and open and squash I will keep these triangle flaps you see the white flaps together at the center and you did one count with me so you did this one two three four and right here here's a, another flap not done yet so uh, this is a triangle in uh, sitting on the opposite side but what you do is the same lift up this triangle and make it to the kite shape very good and let's count with me so here's one on this side so one if you turn this is a second two three <clears throat> four and and here one two three four four on the right side and four on the left side and make it flat and please notice the side is the surface has no white top in another words if you have this looks like a kite with a white top or the boat sail look like that is not it turn this to one 
one turn <coughs> of the flap and make sure one, two, three, four, the number is even, one, two, three, four. And back is the same look to it. Very good. And I'm gonna turn upside down just to make it easy for me because I'm, I guess I'm used to this way. And top, fold it to the bottom. And make sharp crease. I will use my pen to make it really sharp. And unfold that. Then you are ready for the next move. The next move, you will pick up only one layer. You heard me? Just one layer? One layer. And bring this one top layer all the way to right here. Where my finger here? As you do it, you have a bunch of layers right here. I will use this way my finger going down. You wanna you wanna almost put these bigger pieces down to your table. And as you do it, you can see the set, the top has a small kite shape coming out. So fold it to a kite upside down. It's a small kite. And if you don't get it, I will be showing you more because you will repeat this step. And you will turn the page. We've been doing this a lot, turning the page. So I'll turn the page one right here. And now you have two on the side. And then if your number is different from mine, don't worry too much because eventually you will get that. And folding nine is right here. Creasing nine is right here. That is where you fold, you have the, this crease. So, and if you are not sure, do this again. Top to the bottom. Actually, that's a good thing to do. So you know what to do. And here's a top layer, goes down, and then hold the bottom part with your hand down so that you can tell which one is going up and this from the top, kind of follow from the top, and you know which part to do. And bring the side edges to the center. And notice mine is not perfectly aligned at the center. I'm trying to adjust it but I know this is gonna be okay so I'll just go ahead to do the next turn the page here's one page and oops here's nothing so you will do flip just find try to find the plain no boat, here's a, here's a boat, like sail, like there's a edge here, but this one do not have any edge in the middle. That's the side you are going to do here. Then from the bottom,
So small kite has been folded like that. And at this point, you might have a different look to it, but most uh, by flipping differently from I did, it's not wrong. You can flip left, right, so many different way. But the most important thing is finding surface of that right here. So this must be the last one. I will fold up from the bottom to the top and Try to adjust and fold to the vertical center as much as I can. And like I said, as much as you can, that's enough. Because the gap right here, it's going to be a nice character to this flower. Next. I'm gonna put upside down so the kite looks right here and there are a bunch of layers from here top layer will be folded up here you turn the page flaps you turn the page and skip this one and right here there's a flap because this one doesn't have any flap on the bottom but if you turn the page again there's a flap fold it up and turn the page there's no flap on the bottom it's just a big chunk that's not what you do so you skip this one and here there's a flap I have one two three flaps done so do one more, here's another one, and skip right there. So you got the one, two, three, four. So this is almost like a flower. To finish up this flower or decorative stem, here's opening, these are the petals. Right, see those one, two, three, four, and this is the bottom of the flower. Bottom is very skinny, so we will skinny up. Grab one flap, one flap, and fold to the vertical center, and do the same from the opposite side. Mm. I have a, such a big gap. Let me adjust that. So I will don't, do, try not to overlap right at the center. Yes. And let's do this. Flip to the back side and you do the same. Oops. Look at that. I grabbed two flaps. No, no. Just one flap, one layer, and opposite side, again one layer. Ne? And this part has to be done. So let's do this. You put your hand in between this big diamond you put your hand right here and you put your another hand on the opposite side open that diamond so you have a place to fold and close this so that you have top and the bottom is that way make sure this is the opening which has uh, petals to it yeah. and do the same process, fold to the vertical center, same way. So this is my third 
surface. There are four surfaces. One, two, three, four. So there must be one more, which is on the bottom. Turn it over to the back side and do that. Oops, that is not, that is too rough. side you are done what do you mean you are done oh, we are here one two and open this gently gently like a flower opens up and here's another set in the middle it's a little bit like square inside going like that and let's curl this part this petal when i was a kid i loved this part when you curl the paper it's like a curling curling your hair All the way, all the way. And if you are adult, grown ups, very safe to use scissors. Use the scissors, and I really recommend use dowel dull scissors or you can use a table knife again shouldn't be sharp do it like that there are two different way to curl beautiful